don't even know what I have. What did you grab? It has nothing on it. Chicken livers. Chicken livers. Chicken livers. Okay. Chicken freaking livers. Okay. I've never cooked with chicken livers. I've never eaten chicken livers. And they're sitting in a pool of blood. Yuck. I'm worried. <laughs> what am I going to make? Yeah, maybe. No, thanks. That's, uh, that's a clip from last week's episode of Next Level Chef. Coming up tomorrow, the contestants will be preparing Next Level Burgers. Joining me this morning talking about the show is Devaney Black. She is a contestant on this show and from right here in Seattle. Good morning to you. Good morning. Good morning. Thanks for having me. So, Devaney, what is your, what's your cooking background? Uh, home cook. <laughs> you know, I, identical to... Uh, culinary school aside from my high school, which was the culinary arts high school. But yeah, it's just pretty much learning from my dad in the kitchen, watching lots of Food Network, and just kind of testing things, recipe testing, any idea that came, come in, comes into my head. That's great. So, the, And that's one of the cool things about the show. It brings together amateur chefs and professional chefs. You're put into teams of three, and then you have a mentor that guides you through the challenges. So it's a show that uh, I, you're, you're a great chef no matter the circumstances, whether you're a high-level you know, kitchen chef or in the basement there. And is that kind of part of why you wanted to be on the show? Yeah, I definitely wanted to push myself. And so having the experience to cook alongside professional chefs and chefs who have big social media followings and put out lots of content, you know, daily was something that I just really wanted to experience. And of course, the mentors are amazing. So being able to cook for them and learn from them, that was just like, I couldn't, I couldn't have picked a better experience. How did you get on the show? I actually just um, applied from a link in Gordon Ramsay's website or, or in his Instagram that was linked to his website. Um, he had put up a message saying, I want you to apply for this new show. And I was like, me? You want me? So I read to his Instagram, applied, and then, yeah, I got the call back, which is extremely lucky. I'm sure they had thousands of applications. Oh, yeah. I mean, how, how cool that, that you were able to do it. Have you noticed that your presence, especially like on social media and stuff, is kind of blowing up now that you've been featured on the show? A little, yeah. I've definitely gotten quite a few more followers. Definitely a lot of uh, new faces on my slice of the uh, internet. But, yeah, I think it, it's still, it's not... It's not as intense as like the other contestants. Some of them are like really blowing up, and I'm like, ooh, yeah, that's scary. You have such a great personality too. You were talking about, um, you know, how you just sort of create things in the kitchen, and sometimes that's that's the most fun. Um, how how's that gone for you in terms of you know creating dishes on the show under that kind of pressure on Gordon Ramsay's team, no less. I mean, that kind of pressure, it's. You can't explain it because no matter, you know, before we would cook, I would always have an idea. All right, think of something to make now. You don't know what's on the platform. So I'm like, just thinking of ideas. And then the platform descends and you grab ingredients. And I'm like, I don't know what to do. Like, everything just kind of goes out the window. So um, the good thing is I have experience with kind of using whatever I have at home to just make something happen. But the pressure of making a meal that, you know, Gordon Ramsay is going to rave about and that you're proud of in that amount of time, it's, it's wild. Or, he, or he's going to rant at you about. What, so right. what, give, take us behind the curtain a little bit. I mean, what, what's he really like to, to work with? Honest, I know people are going to be like, what? But he he's amazing. Like, he's just so helpful. And I know we have, we see his personality on his other shows and he's like yelling at people. And But he, I don't know if it's because, you know, we were a mixture of chefs and like a home chef isn't going to cook or not, or have the knowledge of like a professional line cook or a professional chef. So maybe there was just a little a little bit of tenderness, a little bit of care, um, but he's still, you know, he's a professional. He knows what he's doing. He has lots of wisdom, so he definitely pushed us. But I honestly, I think he—he he was just a sweetheart. He was so kind, you know, so helpful. So, yeah, I think good. I think he, did, if if I remember correctly, didn't he do a kitchen nightmares at uh, one one shop up 
on Finney Ridge at one time. So he's familiar a little bit with the Seattle area. What's your go-to? If you were going to recommend a restaurant in the Seattle area to Gordon Ramsay, which one would you pick? Oh, my gosh. It would, I'm sorry. It would have to be the Caribbean locations out here. I'm Jamaican, and there's a good Jamaican restaurant out here, Taste of the Caribbean, and then there's also Pam's Kitchen, which is Trinidadian food. It, I would have to bring it, bring the culture to him, you know, yeah. like really express my background. So those would be like top two, top two. My friend just opened her own Jamaican eatery called Just Like Home Kitchen. So I would bring him to all of those places. Yeah, I like that. All right, Devaney Black, thank you so much. Congratulations to you. Thank you. Thanks so much for having me. Absolutely. You can catch Next Level Chef tomorrow, 9 o'clock, right here on Fox 13, followed by Fox 13 News at 10. Okay, Brian, how